Angry protesters set fire to a Donald Trump flag during his campaign stop in New Mexico. Today, Anaheim is preparing for the Trump train. Let's get to 10 News reporter Jared Aarons live at the convention center with a look at how police are preparing for all of Trump's stops in SoCal this week, including San Diego. At Jason, Virginia, good morning. San Diego police have already held tactical training with full riot gear to get ready for whatever protests happened during Trump's visit to the convention center on Saturday. Because as we've seen, like last night in New Mexico, and really for the last few months, wherever Trump goes, you don't really know what to expect. How old is this kid? Get out of here. Now, protesters interrupted Trump's speech in Albuquerque last night about a half dozen times. Police actually dragged one protester out of the venue. Outside, clashes between protesters, supporters, and officers turned into a full riot. Cops there had to use tear gas and pepper spray. Several protests are planned in San Diego on Friday when Trump visits. The same at Trump's event in Anaheim today. Police there say they're going to take a hard stance against any protesters who step over the line. We cannot and will not tolerate people who break the law, engage in acts of vandalism or acts of violence, uh, or trying to block traffic or block the pedestrians from gaining access. According to Trump's website, he also has stops this week in Fresno and in Billings, Montana. Again, his stop in San Diego is here at the convention center at 2 p.m. Friday afternoon. Live downtown, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank you, Jared. You know, violence erupting between Trump supporters and protesters at rallies has become a common theme. You don't have to look any further than his recent trips to California. Take a look what happened here. This is Burlingame near San Francisco last month during a campaign stop. Hundreds of protesters actually pushed through barricades. Some of them were throwing eggs at police. Even closer to us, OC Fairgrounds in Costa Mesa. So look at this supporter. He was pulled out of his car, beaten. Protesters surrounded police cars. You can see what they were doing. They were rocking some of them back and forth. One driver was doing donuts in the crowd, almost hit people before speeding off. Police did arrest 20 people during this event. New at 630, just down the street from Trump's rally in Anaheim. Hillary Clinton will also be speaking today. And as reporter Leslie Lopez shows us, crowds are already in Buena Park for her stop. That's right, we're outside the United Food and Commercial Workers Union Hall. Now, this is uh, right behind me here in Buena Park, but you can see people are already standing, uh, waiting to hear Hillary Clinton arrive. Now, Southern California is where two Democratic presidential candidates are making their stops today. Hillary Clinton has been campaigning at Riverside Commerce in South LA and now today in Orange County, right here in Buena Park. Expected to be joining her this morning at the United Food and Commercial Workers Union Hall is actress and activist Jamie Lee Curtis. Clinton seems to no longer be focusing on Bernie Sanders. Yesterday, he wasn't even mentioned in any of her speeches. Instead, she turned her attention towards Donald Trump and the general election. Today, the speeches are expected to start about 1015 this morning, but doors are open as early as 8 o'clock, and there's still time to stand in line and try to get in. From Buena Park, Leslie Lopez, back over to you, San Diego.